So she's one of the most celebrated and potentially decorated actors in the country with a career spanning over three decades. Her most recent acclaimed and prominent role is that of uh, the mining tribe elder in the blockbuster Black Panther films. Konnichiwa received three Lifetime Achievement Awards in 2022 alone and is still going strong. She's also featured in local hit shows such as Scooty's Knives, Rhythm City, and more currently, Mzanzi Magic Drama, Gomorrah. She joins us now in studio for a conversation of what has been an amazing career. And it's great to have you on the program. Thanks so much indeed for coming through. Thank you so much for having me. You and I were just talking off air. I'm going to expose our conversations. <laughs> <laughs> but at a time when most people slow down, yeah. it seems like your career is really heating up. Wow, yeah, you know, that's true. I don't know how, but that's, that's exactly how it's happening now. Uh, like you just mentioned now, you know, I've been in the industry actually four decades, it's 45 years. Wow. And for the last, you know, few years, especially 2002, I find myself being recognized at home. I find myself being recognized overseas. And the latest being this one, uh, the Hennessy VSOP Privilege yes. Lifetime Achievement Award. This was the last one that I got in 2022. Right. And there is another one waiting right now. Uh, I don't know whether I should announce it. Or Go I ahead, just tell leave us. It don't away. get us dressed and not yes, take us out. Yesterday I received another message from MultiChoice for another lifetime recognition. Like, I close the air like that, and I'm opening it like that. Wow. I think it's just the grace of God, you know, because there are so many people who, who have been in the industry, and I would like to say they have equally maybe contributed, but I don't know why it mm. That's why I say it's, 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 it's God's time. That's all I can say. Sure. Yeah. And, you know, throughout that time, congratulations, by the way, where my Thank man you. is, for all the Lifetime Awards. I'm sure this one will be <laughs> in great company on your shelf. Yes, it the, is. <laughs> with all the many other awards you've received. What's also been really gratifying to see is just the, the diversity of the roles you've played. For instance, the role you played in Rhythm City is very different to that uh, on, on Gomorrah. It in is. fact, those two people would hate each other, I'm sure, if yes. they ever met. Yes, they um, would. How would you say you've managed to convincingly get into those shoes throughout the time you've done uh, TV, TV acting? You know, the, what's happening now is something that I always wanted to do. Because at the beginning, I used to be cast as oh, Mamukete right. kind of role, where you are this good mother who goes to church, or parents, or Oratang, a community, you know, that kind of person, the role model kind of person. And there was a time when I thought I'm being too typecast mm. until I was approached by my agent um, may her soul rest in peace Umunin and, and she said to me you know uh, Angus Gibson wants to write something for you but in that role as she said it I'm not going to say the full word but it's a B word okay. <laughs> so I said you know what Munin bring it on because now I, I, think, I think in the years that I've been here I'm, I'm being um, you know uh, typecast so that's where it started. That's when I played Ostella in Zone 14. And if you've seen Zone 14, you know exactly how she was. Right. Then after that, I went back to Mamukitu, who is that mother that we all know. But now I'm playing this gangster, you know. And I think what's interesting is that um, people are interested in her because at her age, being a mother of grown-up children, being a grandmother... And she's in that industry, mm. which is a very dangerous industry, and she's maneuvering in it very, very well. Yeah, and she's feared in a community like Alex, where and she's it's fearless, not easy and Anna, she's fearless. <laughs> yeah, to make people you know, scared. Yes. What, since we're speaking about Gomorrah, I mean, what I've also find is incredibly gratifying and interesting is the diversity in the cast, right? Mm. There were new faces, exactly. people we have never seen before, blowing yeah. us away mm -hmm. with their characters, mm. alongside people like you who've been doing it for for a couple of years. I mean, take us through the dynamics that exist in that kind of context when you guys are on set. You know, I love that. I love what, what, what Gomorrah has done. Because like right now, you've just said it, ne? there are young artists that we didn't even know. But right now, if you ask about whoever, I'm not going to call their names. In case we leave anyone people, out. People, you know, they will ask you, hey, where is, where is this one, where is that one? People, and they were so fortunate, most of them, because they came directly from school. You know, there are so many other graduates 
people who have learned, our kids who are from drama school and all that, but who come on, they are not working. But uh, Gomorrah managed to mix all stages of the talents, like my age group, mm. the age group, you have a and you have a and then going down like that. So I think it's a good mixture where uh, uh, where us as the older generation are learning from the younger generation and the younger generation is also learning from us. So we are all, you know, complementing each other like that and growing together. Because like, I mean, even at my age, I still feel that there's a lot to learn. And I haven't been to drama school. So these kids are, are coming with something that I don't know. So they might not be aware that as they are sitting there talking, you know, God, it feels this is and whatever. I'm, I'm listening <laughs> and I'm also learning. And then I'm hoping that they're also learning from me. So, and look at where they are now. Yeah. I, I think in that case, Gomara has done a very good job. We've literally watched them grow and yes. hone their, their craft. I mean, so many of them are now so comfortable in their roles. It's mm -hmm. really, it's really lovely true. to see. Mm. But, I mean, it doesn't stop there with you, right? Whether you're a good cop or bad cop, you're also sometimes involved in very big productions like Black Panther and, yes. and the series there. Whether the script from, for instance, a Gomara production or Black Panther, do you approach them any differently? I think it depends on the character that you are playing. In, in whatever thing that you do, it's the story, you know. And, give, I mean, Black Panther, it's, it's a blockbuster. It's something very big. It's out there. And here, uh, on Gomorrah, I'm performing for, for TV. Right. And that side, it's something else. You know, the way things are done, the way the agreements are, the way the story is, it's different. But... In whatever you do, you know, you try and bring your best and your professionalism as much, as much as you can. It doesn't matter how big or how small the production is. You just have to approach it with your best. Mm. What would you say are, are perhaps some of the, the differences that you didn't expect, especially when it comes to how, you know, things happen on set, as it were? Uh, well, fortunately, I have worked uh, on, on some international movies but here at home, right. I have done maybe about six or seven here at home. So it was the first time that I shoot a movie in, 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 in America on, on that kind of set. That was the first time. I have worked on stage, you know, stages around the world. But when it comes to film, really it was the first time. And it's, 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 it's different. It's mm. very different. And I know why it's different. The difference is that that site, you know, they have big, 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 big budgets, so they can afford to do things star treatment. in a big way. Uh, yeah. Yes, like star treatment, star acting, star cameras, star crews, star, <laughs> star everything, you yeah. know. So I think that's the difference when it comes to that. And, and another thing is that uh, as actors or as crew, you work according to the, 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 um, the rules of the unions over there, because the unions over there are very, you know, they are very strong, mm. and even the production itself will encourage you to join the union. Unions and production houses are not enemies. They work hand in hand, work hand in hand, hand, in hand right. for, you know, for the best. Of the actors at the very least, and the product. For the best know? of the product, yeah. yes. Yeah. So they don't view each other as enemies. Sure. And yeah. I guess given that experience, I wonder to what extent you reckon that it's, it's a lesson for us to learn here at home. Exactly. That's the, we need that. Mm. We need that. And like I said, they don't look at each other as enemies. I wish, I wish even here at home, you know, something like that could come where the, the, the union representing you guys, the crew, the union representing actors and the, 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 the production houses, you know, we could be able to sit down, you know, and talk about issues and make our industry the best one sure. in Africa or in the world, I dare say. Especially because the potential, as we can see, Ooh, is already there. My goodness, I mean, talent yeah. here, my, my dear. There is talent here. I'm not talking about in front of the camera only. I'm talking about talent in front and behind the camera. You know, we've got, I mean, from the writers it's themselves, we've got beautiful, beautiful stories that need to be told. Mm. We have people like us who can tell those stories. We have crew, professional people who can be able to do that 
and then let's just show the world what we are made of. Sure. Yes. You know, whenever you are on the world stage, as it were, people are always keen to find out who are some of the people you met, you know, any kind of conversations you may have had. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, I had a very whisper in my ear that Rihanna has just joined the list for you of Ooh, people who have been yes. in your orbit. You know, <laughs> yes, 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 you know, it's, it's one of those things that, you know, um, are so gratifying for you to meet some of those people. First of all, let me talk about the people that I worked with, yeah. that I spend a lot of time with. Uh, starting with our late king, mm. T'Challa, Bozeman, mm. yeah, Chadwick Bozeman, yeah. yes. What a wonderful person, what a, what a humble person, what a talented person, you know. May his soul rest in peace. A person who, who will just come to you on set, maybe in between the scenes, just talk to you. And he told me that he's been to South Africa. He has a friend in the Eastern Cape. He wants to come back. Imagine, and all this time he was sick already, yeah. and we didn't know. Yeah. And in my heart I was like, yeah, you know what, come. Come back to South Africa. Now you know me too. I'm in your list. People like that. Abolu Peter, they are there. Uh, people who are actually... From Africa, Tanai Gurira, people from the Caribbean, about Winston Duke, the Angela Bassett, and right, all those people. Right. It was such a wonderful set where, you know, you just felt the brotherhood and the sisterhood and the professionalism. And that thing, the spirit that was there, and the director, guys, Orion, what a wonderful person. A person who is approachable that you can come to and say, eh, I think maybe this line, could I maybe do it like this mm. and all that. I mean, an example is the Kosa language. Are the father ask? Yes, it's Kosa, because Oprah John went to him and said, but you know we are in Wakanda. Do you think Wakanda would be speaking English? And he said, no, what language do you think will be spoken in Wakanda? So Oprah John went Kosa and he said, no, I think we can speak so it's Kosa. And then he said, okay. So it's Kosa is the, is the um, official language right. of Wakanda now. So, yeah, and then along the line, Guvela Burihana, and, and, you know, uh, it's so... Casual, so, yes. our Rihanna just, you know, yes. step into the breeze somehow. <laughs> but it was know. a pleasure, you know, yeah. to meet her, because she's one of those people that are role models to our, to our children, you know. She's from the Caribbean. You know, people think that it's easy to just go to America and achieve and she has achieved, but I'm sure there is a journey that she walked Absolutely. before she got where she, she is now. Yeah, yeah, it's a combination yes. of so many different things. Yeah. And if you emerge on the other side, there's mm. stuff that you got right along the way with your team, of course, which I'm sure you're well aware of. Other people who have watched you um, closely over the years, and it's many, many of us growing up, will also, you know, I guess, take some time to point out how great you are at just dipping in and out of different languages. You know, I, I'm not sure if that's like something oh. intentionally that you've done, something you studied, or it just comes with no, having had lived a good life. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not anything that I studied. I, I'm actually from Velcro, I'm in the Free State. That's where I was born. And my mother was from KZN in, in Atali. My father was a Malawian. So I've been fortunate to live in Velcro, grow up there, and then came to Johannesburg. And in Joburg, it's a melting pot. Yeah. All of the languages are there. I'm not perfect in some of those languages, but I do speak Sesotho very well. And by the way, I was a teacher, so I used to teach Sesotho. Oh, wow. Like Sesotho, uh, mathematics, and biology when I was a teacher. So, yeah, I'm lucky like that, you know, to, to, to be able to learn languages like that. Right. You, if you like, you, you could call me a linguist, but to some... Extent. I know, we, we, we're going <laughs> to affirm it without any condition. It's been so lovely um, watching <laughs> you continue burning the fire, as it were. You know, as I started my interview, most people slow down around this time, but it seems in many ways you're just starting on this new chapter, and we wish you all the very best as you continue doing that. Thank you very much, and thank you again to Ihenesi VSOP Privilege for honoring me with this award. I really appreciate all the awards that I got. Uh, in 2022 and I know many others are still coming. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. From your words or from your lips to God's ears. Once again, Amen. Thanks very much indeed for Thank coming. Thank you, Ayanda. I appreciate you. your time. Thank